Brown eyes. The original armor. Let us start with the eye color that dominates our planet, brown. If eyes were armor in a video game, brown would be the legendary tier for sun protection. These eyes are not just common, they are engineered for survival in the harshest light conditions Earth can throw at them. The secret weapon here is melanin, nature's own sunscreen. Think of melanin as millions of tiny umbrellas packed into your iris, each one blocking harmful radiation before it can penetrate deeper eye structures. This is not random, it is deliberate evolutionary engineering. When our ancestors were traversing the scorching plains of Africa, those with darker eyes survived better, saw clearer, and passed on their genes more successfully. Here is what makes brown eyes genuinely remarkable. They function like optical shock absorbers. While other eye colors bounce light around like pinballs, brown eyes swallow it whole. This absorption creates incredible stability across lighting conditions. You could move from a dark cave to blazing desert sun, and brown-eyed individuals experience minimal discomfort compared to their light-eyed counterparts. Studies show they have up to 80% lower rates of photophobia, that painful squinting reaction to bright light. The numbers tell the story. Over 79% of humanity carries brown eyes, and that is no accident. From the scorching Sahara to the tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia, brown eyes dominate wherever the sun dominates. They are the default setting for human vision, the baseline from which all other colors mutated. But there is a hidden beauty aspect too. In certain lighting, particularly warm golden hour sunlight or candlelit environments, brown eyes reveal secret amber streaks and honey-colored rings that normally stay hidden. It is like having a secret second eye color that only appears under perfect conditions. Blue eyes, the low light specialists. Blue eyes are evolution's answer to a completely different problem. How to see when there is barely any light at all. These eyes emerged roughly 10,000 years ago from a single genetic mutation near the Black Sea, and they spread like wildfire through northern populations for one simple reason. They worked better in the dark. Here is the fascinating part. Blue eyes contain virtually no blue pigment whatsoever. That stunning azure color you see is pure physics, created by the same Rayleigh scattering that paints our sky blue. The iris structure itself bends light wavelengths, reflecting blue while absorbing everything else. It is biological engineering through optics rather than chemistry. This minimal melanin design serves a crucial purpose. In the endless winters of Scandinavia, or the perpetual overcast of northern Europe, every photon of light matters. Blue eyes are essentially wide-open apertures, letting maximum light flood the retina. Research indicates blue-eyed individuals can detect motion and shapes and conditions up to 15% darker than brown-eyed people can manage. But this advantage comes with a serious trade-off. Blue eyes are essentially defenseless against UV radiation. They are four times more likely to develop age-related macular degeneration and significantly more prone to light-induced headaches. It is a classic evolutionary bargain. Superior performance in specific conditions at the cost of vulnerability in others. The genetic story gets even stranger. Every single blue-eyed person on Earth shares that one common ancestor from 10,000 years ago. You could be from Iceland or India. If you have blue eyes, you're distantly related through that original mutant. Some researchers believe blue eyes spread partly through sexual selection, as their rarity made them attractive, creating a feedback loop that accelerated their distribution despite the UV sensitivity disadvantage. Green eyes, the genetic lottery winners. Green eyes are nature's rarest successful experiment, occurring in just 2% of humans worldwide. They represent a genetic sweet spot that should not really exist a perfect storm of multiple genes aligning just right to create something genuinely unique. The chemistry behind green eyes reads like a recipe with impossibly precise measurements. You need moderate melanin levels. Not too much, not too little. Add a dash of lipochrome, that golden yellow pigment that gives autumn leaves their color, then factor in specific iris structure that scatters light just so. Change any variable even slightly, and you get brown or blue instead. What makes green eyes truly special is their adaptability, they offer better UV protection than blue eyes, but maintain superior low-light performance compared to brown. It is like having a Swiss army knife when everyone else has specialized tools. This versatility might explain why green eyes cluster in regions with highly variable weather, places like Ireland, Scotland, and parts of Eastern Europe, where you might experience four seasons in a single day. Green eyes are also the most unstable color, constantly shape-shifting based on environment. In bright sunlight, they can appear almost yellow. In shade, they turn deep emerald. When you cry, they become more vivid as blood vessels expand. Even clothing choices can shift their apparent hue. This chameleon quality has spawned centuries of superstition and folklore, from associations with witchcraft to supposed connections with emotional sensitivity. Hazel eyes. The adaptive shapeshifters. Hazel eyes are the ultimate evolutionary hedge bet. They are what happens when genetics cannot quite decide between green and brown, so it chooses both. 
This indecision creates the most versatile eye color in the human spectrum. The structure of hazel eyes is genuinely bizarre. Instead of uniform pigment distribution, they feature concentrated melanin around the pupil that gradually fades toward the edges. This gradient creates a dual zone system. The inner ring handles bright light like brown eyes. While the outer region maintains sensitivity like lighter colors, it is essentially having two different eye colors working in tandem. This design allows hazel eyes to literally adjust their appearance based on need. In bright conditions, pupils contract, showing more of the brown center. Instant sun protection. In dim light, pupils dilate, revealing the lighter outer ring. Enhanced night vision, no other eye color physically transforms its protective properties in real time like this. People with hazel eyes often report that their color seems to change with mood, but that is actually blood flow. Emotional states alter circulation patterns in the face, which changes how light interacts with the varying pigment densities. Anger might bring out more brown, while calm states reveal more green. The eyes are not changing. They are revealing different aspects of their complex structure. Amber eyes, the predator's gaze. Amber eyes should not exist in humans. That pure wolfish gold belongs to hunters, eagles, lions, wolves. Yet roughly 5% of humans carry this anomaly, and science still debates why evolution kept it around. Unlike hazel eyes that shift and change, amber eyes are rock-steady gold in any light. They contain enormous amounts of lipochrome, but almost no melanin, creating a solid yellow copper color that looks almost artificial. Under microscopic examination, amber irises show a unique crystalline structure that reflects light uniformly, creating an almost metallic sheen. Some evolutionary biologists theorize amber eyes might have provided social rather than visual advantages. Humans instinctively associate golden eyes with alertness and intensity, traits valuable in leadership or confrontation. Studies show people rate amber-eyed individuals as more memorable and commanding, even in photographs. It is possible amber eyes survived not because they see better, but because they intimidate better. The geographic distribution of amber eyes is peculiar too. They appear in random pockets worldwide, parts of Asia, South America, Southern Europe, with no clear migration pattern. It is as if nature occasionally experiments with recreating predator eyes in humans, just to see what happens. Gray eyes, the ultimate rarity. Gray eyes are the ghost story of human genetics, so rare that many scientists debate whether they truly exist as a separate category or are just extremely pale blue eyes having an identity crisis. True gray eyes contain even less melanin than blue eyes, but their iris structure differs subtly. Instead of creating focused blue scatter, they diffuse all wavelengths equally, producing a neutral, silvery appearance. It is the difference between a tinted window and frosted glass. Both let light through, but the quality is completely different. Found in less than 3% of the global population, gray eyes cluster almost exclusively in northern and eastern Europe. They offer the ultimate low-light sensitivity, even better than blue, but at the cost of extreme vulnerability to bright conditions. People with gray eyes often describe their vision as having a built-in dimmer switch, seeing the world in softer, more muted tones that others miss. Black eyes, the ultimate shield. Black eyes are the tanks of the eye color world. Maximum armor, zero compromises. They are not technically a separate color, but rather brown eyes turned up to maximum intensity, containing so much melanin that the iris appears completely dark, matching the pupil. This extreme pigmentation creates the ultimate UV protection system. While brown eyes are good at blocking harmful radiation, black eyes are essentially impenetrable. Studies from equatorial regions show that individuals with black eyes have the lowest rates of all sun-related eye conditions, from cataracts to macular degeneration. They can stare into bright desert sun or tropical ocean glare with minimal discomfort. But the advantages go beyond simple protection. Black eyes maintain the most stable vision across all lighting conditions. They never dilate or contract as dramatically as lighter eyes, providing consistent visual acuity whether you are in a pitch black room or under stadium lights. The stability might explain why black eyes are common in regions with extreme light variation, from the intense sun of the Sahara to the deep shadows of rainforest canopies. There is also a psychological component. Black eyes are the hardest to read, making pupil dilation, our subconscious tell for interest, fear, or attraction, nearly invisible. In many cultures, this has led to associations with mystery, power, and inscrutability. When you cannot read someone's eyes, you cannot read their intentions, creating an automatic psychological barrier that can be either intimidating or intriguing. The unique case of heterochromia. Heterochromia breaks all the rules. It is evolution admitting that sometimes chaos creates something more interesting than order. Whether complete, two different colored eyes, or sectoral, multiple colors in one eye, heterochromia represents genetic variation in its purest form. 
While it offers no clear survival advantage, heterochromia might represent something deeper, genetic flexibility itself. The same developmental variations that create heterochromia might also influence neuroplasticity or immune response. We simply do not know yet. What we do know is that heterochromia has captivated humans throughout history, seen as everything from divine blessing to supernatural curse, proving that sometimes being different is its own advantage.